There's 150 pound pigs out here that'll mess your day up. Didn't know about that. We are day 70. Great paddling weather this morning. Uh, had a bit of a weird experience this morning when we were packing up. Uh, just as we were about to kick off, uh, it was still dark out. Uh, James saw some like flashlights in the woods of people walking towards us. Uh, and we had heard rumors about this guy who owns a lot of the land uh, south of us right now. So we kind of panicked and we just like very silently battled away. Gave us a little scare, but it was probably just a hunter getting to a deer stand or something. Uh, game plan or I guess goal of today would be get to as close as Natchez as possible. Um, we were originally thinking we could make it but a few slow hours at the start of the morning really set us back so we're just trying to get as close as possible and then hopefully on the Atchafalaya in uh, three days so like two and a half days ish so. We just got off the, call, uh, off the phone with um, our old friend Rusty from Grand Rapids. Um, he said uh, he's got a friend here in Natchez that's gonna meet us at a boat ramp, so we're gonna head there right now. It's about 7.30 in the morning. In all the excitement, uh, didn't update what, we, uh, what ended up happening there. Um, There's three people waiting for us at the boat ramp and they had um, biscuits and gravy, um, grits, eggs, bacon, coffee um, and a six pack of beer waiting for us um, and it was actually Rusty from Grand Rapids the original River Angel that reached out to um, friends of his down here in Natchez um, and set the whole thing up for us so pretty awesome start to the day. It's day 73 we paddled about 65 miles yesterday and today we're gonna paddle about 67 miles because we're trying to make it to Wax Lake Lodge um, so then we can shelter there for the, the storm that's coming Monday and Tuesday. Um, Wednesday is our weather window um, so that we can leave Wax Lake and head right to the Gulf of Mexico on Wednesday and zip right out of there because Thursday and Friday is looking like pretty crazy weather too. Um, that's the plan. We got another 35 miles to go today. We got decent, decent weather. It's kind of a bit of a headwind. They said it was going to be a tailwind. It's a headwind. We're over it and we're going to keep pushing on. Not uh, an ideal situation. Um, we're paddling pretty well in the dark, got the old headlamps ready because um, we need to get to Wax Lake Lodge tonight because um, there's a storm of brewing out there. This is uh, what our second last night prep. Second last night. If all goes well. All right, the uh, sun is going down. Um, we just crossed Wax Lake or the Yellow Bayou. Um, we met some guys that were hunting. They showed us a dead pig, pretty cool. Now this is where we're trying to go. There's a little bridge there and that's where we're staying tonight. Okay, so we, uh, we just pulled into a place called uh, Wax Lake Lodge. Um, they rent cabins and stuff here. And uh, we had called them and tell them that we're coming off the river and uh, they said, oh yeah, you can actually just like camp out here for free. 
Um, so they just told us you can tent under this tin, uh, like this tin gazebo. Said there's a couple of pieces missing from the roof, so uh, you'll find it. It's like out back. Um, so we showed up here and it was dark. And uh, so we walked around the property. Um, there's some cabins. There's also people that live here and stuff. And uh, we couldn't see well. And then finally we found a gazebo and there was a, a tin roof and there was a, people, a couple of pieces missing. Um, so we set up our tent underneath it. And uh, so this is where we had originally set up our, our tent. Um, in the morning, the guy that lives right here, he came out and was like, hey, what's up guys? And I was chatting with him, you know, hey, what's going on? Yeah, we talked to the owner and they said we could camp out here. And he was like, oh, like, uh, this is actually my property. We're like, oh, sorry, dude. Uh, well, uh, we can move our stuff. And he's like, oh, no, no, don't worry about it. Ended up being a super nice guy. We had breakfast with him. Um, anyway, his name's Frankie Sauce, like the hot sauce. Those are his words. Um, anyways, we've been here for like two days now. We've been hanging out with this guy for a few days, and uh, he's been the best. Um, so now we, uh, we moved our tent a little bit just because we were uh, getting rained on pretty good. We're here at uh, Wax Lake Lodge. We accidentally camped in this guy's backyard. We thought it was <laughs> it was their lawn, but anyway, he came out this morning. He was laughing at us and he said we were, we were fine to stay here. Um, now we've got a two days off because of the weather. So we're gonna take advantage of the time and we're gonna try and fix this seat because um, as you can see, the webbing is all, all frayed. Um, there's some accusations out there. It's because of my sharp butt. But it's yet to be uh, yet to be decided. Um, so what we're gonna do? We actually came up with a few different solutions. Uh, funniest of which was this cutting board. Um, so we had been using this as our seat, and we'd put like our rubber boots on it because it's rock hard. Um, your butt's flat for like a few days after you sit in this thing. Um, we also had as a backup plan this webbing. Um, so this is best case scenario. Um, you wrap it, you weave it. Um, and then you would have like a, a staple gun to staple it underneath um, and that would be the, the best option, the most strongest. Um, but we don't have a staple gun. All we have is this thing, this little uh, Leatherman um, and some hair cord. So uh, we found some videos online of people just wrapping it around um, and it works pretty good as a seat. So uh, we're going to see if that works. We've got our finished product. Obviously we ran out of paracord, so we had to use our ridge line. But it looks quite nice, kinda looks intentional. And I think when this dries, it'll all be one color. It'll be nice. What's what's going on? Uh, a hole formed in my kayak. You say a hole formed yeah. in your kayak? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How? What happened, man? <laughs> I don't even know. But more on him in a little while. Okay, it's about 6 a.m. If all goes to plan, we're going to be hitting the golf here shortly. Um, this will be our last day in the on the river. Um, we started this trip probably 76 days ago, I think. Um, our biggest challenges were lack of sunlight and the cold weather. So very fittingly, we're actually finishing on uh, December 21st, the winter solstice. Um, once we get to uh, Burns Point, we've got a guy that's picking us up, Captain Caviar, and he's gonna drive us all the way to New Orleans. Then we're home for Christmas. So this would be the most direct route to the Gulf of Mexico. Um, however, we're kind of worried about the water conditions there, so we're gonna be taking the hog bayou. Uh, so there's a little entrance here. Uh, this kind of snakes its way to the Gulf, uh, allows us to be way more protected. Uh, and that way we only have to paddle for about two miles uh, in the open water, uh, where we'll end our journey, finally, at Burn Point. Six days, close to 2,200 miles. Uh, a lot of weather, a lot of being uncomfortable. We've officially made it to the.
the Gulf of Mexico. surreal. Pretty soon we'll be selling Big Alice to the gentleman backing up the trailer right now in New Orleans and home for Christmas. We haven't really done a recap in a few days, eh? Alrighty. Alrighty. Alright, it's, all right, all right, it's day six. Day 20. 23. Day 24, we think. Don't, they're all blending together. Day 29. Think we're day 32. Day 48, we think. We, we don't know. Day 53 or something. <laughs> day 57. Day 65. Day 73. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, God. Alright, we got a bad case of beaver fever here. We've gotten ourselves into a predicament. We're getting banged up out here. He said you'll die if you do it, so we're not gonna do that. 40% chance of snow! That's freaking snow. You can't pee in boats. Pep got some bourbon, but unfortunately we didn't get toilet paper. <laughs> also, we definitely almost died trying to get to this buffet. And we chain smoked cigarettes and drank beer till midnight last night. We're having a rough time right now. Yeah, right. He doesn't even know how to read that guy. We got pretty spooked out there on the water. We got uh, banged up pretty good. Wind picked up. It's only going to get worse. Today's going to suck. 50 or 60 miles south of Memphis. And we're pissed off! <laughs> we're angry. <laughs> um, we met some guys that were hunting. They showed us a dead pig. Pretty cool. Oh. Of course, you turn on. <laughs> 